Okay, so in this video, we're going to continue a code along for um, our Make a Mummy, Make a Mask coding assignment. That's assignment number four in your Schoology folder. Um, we are coding art in P5JS. Our learning targets are I can decompose an image down into individual geometric shapes, and I can use coordinates within a shape function's arguments to place a shape in a specific place on a coordinate grid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the assignment because the links that you need to continue your, your work are in the assignment. We scroll all the way to the bottom here. There's a few things linked now, so you're going to need to read carefully. This one, the Make a Face Project Guide, that has all the instructions if you want to read the text guide um, on how to code our project. And while that's loading, I'm going to go back. And I'm also going to go into Trinket. Um, the first day we started, we started with a template. But as you continue coding, you just need to go into the Trinket website and then open up your saved work. So we're going to open up Trinket. And then remember that in Trinket, you need to sign in with Google. Um, before you can open up your work, but then click on your username and go to My Trinkets. And then you're going to open up the face coding project that we started. You should have a few lines of code here already. Um, and if you started with the template the first time like you were supposed to, you'll have two tabs up here. The main tab where we're writing our code and then the P5 tab, which you want to leave alone. Don't change anything in there. Um, that is some of the, that's the library of code that we're borrowing things from for our project. So stay in your main file, um, even if you have errors pop up. If your screen doesn't match mine right now, um, because each class did a little bit different amount of work um, each week, you can either copy your screen or copy my screen, excuse me, so that um, we have the same code to start with, or um, you can just add on to what you already have or just change what you already have. But um, most classes got as far as getting the grid on screen and the circle in the middle of the screen. And I'm leaving notes on the side um, so that we remember what each shape what we were using for in the drawing. So this was our face. And this was the color of the face here. So it's kind of this teal color. All right. Um, we're going to use a couple more ellipse um, functions to draw some eyes together. And then I'm going to show you a couple other shapes that you can draw and you can kind of play with before you um, try to continue making your face on your own or whatever other uh, design you want to make. If you want to make your mummy or you want to make a mask. So I hit Enter to go down to the next line. And then we're going to start our eyes. Um, I'm going to set my eyes to white. So I'm going to say fill 0, 0, 0, the RGB code for white. And then I'll hit return. And we're going to be creating circles again. So ellipse. Check your spelling on that one. And remember that the first two coordinates are, excuse me, the first two numbers inside the parentheses are our XY coordinates. I want to try and get my eye around this area here on the face. So my X axis starts on zero here and then counts up center on this grid is 200. So I want my eye to go not all the way to 200. So maybe it's close to 200, maybe 150. We're just kind of estimating. So 150 comma, and then I'm going to look again at my grid 150 and then uh, about here on the Y axis. So in P5, we start with the number zero on our Y axis way at the top, and then we're counting our numbers up as we go down. So a little different than what you've done in geometry before. Um, but so that would be here, which is before we get to the number 200. So maybe also 150, we'll try. And then we want the eye to be significantly smaller than the face, right? So let's just estimate a size of 15 by 15 and see what that looks like. This is going to be for our left eye. So I'm going to pause here 
and run our updates to see what that looks like. Oh, oh I messed up the color. So the zeros were black. So actually, let me keep that here, black. Okay. I'm going to keep that maybe as our pupil, the center of our eye. So I'm going to change this to left pupil note. And then let's click above that and move that down a bit. And let's try to draw our the whites of our eyes. So I'm going to fix that. White is 255, 255, 255. So I'm inserting this fill now above what we just had typed. So I'm going to keep that little black circle after all, but I'm going to try to put a white circle in here. So white circle, we want to go before that because each shape is kind of layering on top of the one before it. So we're going to say fill and then we're going to say ellipse again. But that spot wasn't quite right. So we're going to, I'm going to move it over a little, maybe it's going to be like 145 comma 145. I'm not sure. We're kind of guessing. And then 15 was a bit too small. So let's maybe try 25 by 25. We'll see what that looks like. And then we'll just make changes if we don't like what that looks like for the eye. So stop and then run. Oh, well, that made an eye. Kind of a fun look but I sort of wanted that white to be over closer to the center of the face. So left eye, 145, 145, I don't really like that. So let's try 155, 155, oops, for my left eye. So I changed this line here for the left eye and I'm changing the X and the Y to see if I can move that over. And then I'm gonna run that again. All right, we're getting there. I actually kind of, I think I want the whites bigger. So I'm going to change that as well, maybe to 35 by 35. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so I like the look of that left eye. I'm going to leave that the way it is. If you want to move the black pupil around, right, you're going to want to change that X and Y coordinate for the left pupil, but I think I'm gonna leave that and then let's put a right eye in. And at this point, we've drawn three circles. We're going to draw another right eye. So hopefully you're already thinking about how you're gonna set up that eye and what shape you need to draw. I'm gonna continue drawing circles. And we know because we've just done it three times that drawing a circle, we're gonna use that ellipse um, function. So first, pick your color, just like when you Think about drawing on paper. You have to pick up the color that you're gonna use first before you can ever draw with that color. So I'm gonna go back to weight. Okay, this is gonna be, that's the color white. Okay. Remember, if you wanna use any other colors, you just need to look up the RGB codes. So let me again remind you where that is. If I just open a new tab and Google RGB color codes, enter a bunch of different resources come up but i really enjoy this first one that comes up rapid tables is really easy to use and then whenever you pick out the color that you're looking for the numbers right here r g and b those are the numbers that you need to insert into your coding so don't forget you can use whatever colors you want um okay so I picked white and we're gonna draw our right eye. So we again, ellipse, and then in parentheses, X, Y, and then length and width. So let's look over here. Right eye is gonna be over here somewhere. If I want it to be at about the same distance from center, I can do a little math again to look at what the difference is between um, where this eye is, the center of the eye, and the center of my grid here. So um, our left eye was at 155. So center of the eye is at 155. Center of my grid is 200. 
So 155, so 200 minus 155 is 45. Or another way to think about it is I put my white eye at 155 and I'd have to move over 45 more to get to center. So I'm thinking about it that way because then I know, okay, if I want them evenly spaced, I'm gonna move over 45 spaces this way for my right eye. And I'm going, I'm counting up on this side of the grid, so 200 plus 45. So let's try that, let's see if we did that right. 245, um, that's X of 245. Our Y is going to, not change if I want it in the same. So over, right, left and right, that's our X, so 245X. But if I want my white eye to be um, at the same height, then my height number actually isn't gonna change at all. So my left eye was up at 155, so we would stay up at 155. And then I want the size the same size as my left eye, so 35 and 35. So let's try that, this is the right eye. Let's run it and see what that looks like. Okay. And then, so my right pupil is gonna be pretty similar too. So what I'm actually gonna do is start copying and pasting lines of code that are gonna be similar here. So I know I'm gonna use black again and another ellipse, and I'm gonna have the same size pupil as the other one. So I copied, I'm gonna just select these two lines. I'm gonna copy them, so Control C. And then I'm gonna go down to a new line here at the bottom under my right eye, and Control V to paste them in. I have to be careful when I do that. Notice here that that messed up my indentation. So I need to click in front of the F and then backspace over. Everything needs to be lined up on that same indent, one tab over. Okay, um, let's see now, location of left pupil. So it's gonna be this direction on the X, this is gonna change. So we did, let's see, 155 and 150 for the pupil. So why don't we try if our white was at 245 center, uh, let's try just slightly to the left. So we're counting down. So the center of this white circle is at 150x. If I want to move left, oh no, I'm sorry, it's not. Let me read this again. So keeping track of all our numbers can get confusing. Um, Okay, my right eye, that white circle, is at X of 245, okay. So this is 245, 245. I'm gonna go back just a little. So let's make that 240. And then we'll try and keep that 150 because that's similar to the height of our right eye, but not exactly the same. So let's run that. Oh, and this is for our right side pupil. Okay, let's test it out. All right, there we go. Now we have a couple of eyes.